If you clicked on this video, chances are either you lose the night of plumbing like I do, or you love it and you just want to see how full of shit I am. Or, you know, a middle ground. Before I start yapping about what I don't like, let's define it first, shall we? After looking up the actual mean of the words zenithal and zenith, and being actually very confused, I can tell you for sure that zenithal lighting is when the subject or object is lit directly from above, creating a perpendicular line between the sun and the ground, the light and the ground, something like that. I mean, it's complicated. Go look it up. It's, it's hard. Uh, this translated in miniatures means to spray white with a can or an airbrush directly from above. Let me tell you, the first problem I have with this is that zenithal priming is suggested a lot to beginners. Recreating the light, bathing your mini in sunlight will require more than just spraying casually with a can from above. That's because the light is not made by a single ray and the, the other problem is that the light it's diffused and the light does many other complicated things. In order to recreate the diffusion of the sun hitting the miniatures from above, you need to spray in a certain way, moving around the mini, being careful of keeping the same angle and that's not easy. That's not something that I would suggest a beginner doing, especially because probably the, be the beginner won't have access to an airbrush. He or she will have to use a can and it's hard to do it with a can. If you spray just directly from above, the result is gonna be that you will have just the upper areas white and uh, downwards areas black. And you don't want that, you want a grayscale. That is what allows you to paint in transparency a grayscale. It's not just two colors, it's a gradient. In order to obtain the gradient, you need to have some skill using the can, you know? Moving around the miniature, it's quite difficult. So does it help? Does it really help? No. no! On the contrary, I think it can be really damaging for your painting progression to use it, especially if you are trying to get acquainted with volumes and how light works. Zenithal priming is often suggested and described as a way to study volumes and light. And that's true, because if you look at the miniature that has been zenithal sprayed in the right way, you can see the volumes. But in order to have those gradients, you need to know how to spray. So you can see that's a dog biting its own tail. At the end of the day, I hate it because it's a trend and I hate trends, especially when I don't think they're useful. You know, when I was a beginner, think reading on books, having lessons with great painters, that is what taught me how to interpret lights and shadows the correct way, not zenithal priming. It makes me mad because it seems like it's something magical that you can use a shortcut to make it look good without having any skill. Just, there is no way to do that. There is no easy way of painting light and shadows. There is no shortcut. If you want to paint correct volumes and correct lighting on your models, you have to practice, practice, practice. There are plenty of ways by which you can study the behavior of light without running the risk of interpreting them in the wrong way, thus interiorizing a wrong light behavior. But Alice, you idiot, I use it with contrast paint so I can use the transparency, you idiot. Okay, okay, don't bite my head off. In one of my videos, I, I was mocked because I was painting white on black primed figure and I specified that wasn't zenithal priming. Well, it turns out it, it's not. The best way to use your contrast paint or your speed paint was whatever is to have a grayscale and in order to have a grayscale you have to move not just 360 around the model but also from the side so you have more gray and white than black because on black speed paints and contrast paints don't work so well they shine on lighter tones you might get the volumes wrong but it's a good way to speed paint and to, to go quickly and to use very bright colors but it's not gonna teach you about lights and shadows a lot of pros prime with white their black prime miniatures because this way they sketch how they want to work with the light so if you want to get better at painting minis study light and volumes i have a video here if you want to watch it quick tips to studying volumes Try that. And let's not do things just because they're trendy, shall we?